Hello, everyone. My name is Yan Junjiang. So today, our group will analysis LL game in multiple linear regression. In an LL match, obtaining goal is one of the most important things to help a team to win. However, which match features will impact the team's goal difference? So our group is going to build a multiple linear regression model using match features as predictors and goal difference of blue team as response. At first, we put all of the predictors in our data to our initial model. However, we found that the size of variable is too large and it makes our initial model too complexable. And when we check the multicolor narrative, we found there are some predictors has VIF value larger than five. It means that our model has some serious culinary problem. So we categorize the variables based on game events and objectives. At our first step, we want to check the multicolority. So we make a color map to check the predictor's correlation. And we use fair f function to see if there's some predictor's value larger than five. So we remove these correlated predictors and show below to achieve our goal that keep only one representative variable from among the set of the correlated predictors. To evaluate the individual coefficients, we construct hypothesis test. According to the output of the summary of the initial model, we use the t-value to remove the predictors that not show the significant association with the response. And we also construct another hypothesis test with the initial model and the reduced model. According to the output of the NOVA, we can conclude that the reduced model is good. We also try to use remedies, but it does not add value to our model. We choose to use a variable selection with the forward method. It adds one variable at a time to find the reasonable sum model. And to select the overall best sum model, we choose to use the selection criteria BIC to choose the model which has the smallest BIC value, and then create a reduced data set by only include the predictors in this best sum model, and to fit it again to the multiple linear regression model. We already checked the collinearity. Now we need to check interactions. We square all the variable and keep the significant variable with p-value less than 0.05. Then we use summary function to our final model. It turns out that the residues are normally distributed and have constant variance because there is no significant pattern in residues versus fitted plot and scale location plot. Besides, the red lines in both plots are flat, which is a good sign in diagnosing model. In marginal model plot, the line of data and model shows the same chain, which indicates that the model structure is correct. Therefore, we conclude that our model is correct, not only because the model structure is great, but also the adjusted R-square. The adjusted R-square is a better measure to de decide whether to add a new variable into a model or not it becomes higher after we add interaction variables. The adjusted R square before transformation was 0.9596. After we add some interaction variables, it becomes 0.964. We extract the variables with largest absolute value and are confident to say that the top six variables of influencing obtaining gold is listed as following, which also matches the fact in the game. That's all for our presentation. Thanks for watching.